Hi everyone, this is James Koenig with Freelance Fridge. I finished this uh, travel sketchbook uh, recently and I finally had some time here that I could do a sketchbook flip through and show you everything in it. I'm not that good at finishing sketchbooks. I usually get about a third of the way into it and then forget about it and then uh, feel like I'm, I've grown too much to continue in that sketchbook. But this one I actually finished all the way through. Took me about two years actually, but hey, <laughs> at least it's finished. So the first one here is just a mustached octopus. Just a funny little start to the book. I've got like a some sort of version of a jackalope. And a tree guy with an owl. Happy little guy there. This is a funky looking guy I saw in Barnes and Noble. I had to sketch him up. A uh, shark creature of some sort. Here's an idea I had of a cactus stegosaurus. wasn't sure I liked the first approach, so I did it again in a more cutesy style. And I thought it'd be fun to do the fruits on the end of the tail for the spikes. Here is a uh, Bigfoot guy drinking espresso in his nice suit. Tuxedo. This is some sort of centipede type creature. I had a lot of fun with that guy. This is like a creature of the Black Lagoon kind of nerdy guy reading his con comic book. And here's kind of a another nerdy Halloween character, uh, a pumpkin guy with braces on his pumpkin teeth. Playing some game on his phone. Probably Angry Birds. Then here's a female mummy. Uh, she's kind of like a nerdy chemist. Trying some things out in a test tube here. This is a fun dragon head. Had a lot of fun with this one. Just wanted to try to push the exaggeration and everything. I really enjoy that guy. And here's a little robot, love bot, as my wife and I have been calling it. <laughs> Just a cute little robot guy. Here's out in the Arizona desert here. Um, if it'll focus in here. Just uh, mountainsides and cactus on a hike that I did with a friend. Here's a cactus. Ooh, ah. Here's a doodle that, this is the only doodle that I didn't do in the book. This is a doodle my my friend Matt Woodworth did of me. Thought it was fun. Here's an old couple I never really finished, but uh, I saw them at an ice cream shop called the Sugar Bowl. And I just thought they were fun, so I sketched them up when I got home. Here's million eye shaman alien thing had a lot of fun with all those eyeballs and tentacles if you know me at all in my art you know i do a lot of eyeballs and a lot of tentacles and stuff here's a mushroom pirate it's a fun character we've got a robotic dinosaur hatching from an egg i thought it'd be fun to do kind of like almost a Bitmappy, pixelated egg cracking there. Here is like a jellyfish, brontosaurus, dinosaurish thing. Had a lot of fun with that one. I enjoyed kind of playing around with the colors on them. Here's a first attempt at uh, something I had wrote in my sketch ideas note in my phone called a Trojan Popsicle Soldier, but I had no clue what I wrote or why. This is my first attempt. I thought he looked a little too much like Marvin the Martian, so I did it again. And this is the final approach. He's got his Popsicle sword, and instead of the feather thing on the Trojan helmet, it's another Popsicle. thought he turned out pretty fun. 
And then this one I love is a praying mantis knight riding a unicorn. Thought he was pretty awesome. I still need to try to color him digitally. And then this is just a, a snake charmer, but he's got a, as you can see, a two-headed cobra here. Happy little double-headed cobra. I like his tiny hat. And then here is my scuba shark. And you'll see later on, I ended up redesigning this and then it making it into a toy, which you can see on my channel. But this is the first version of this scuba shark. I really like that guy. Here's a sketch I never posted, but it's just like a post-apocalyptic robot looking at a chia pet. I wasn't too totally crazy about it, so I never shared it. Here is a cute little owl. I saw a photo of this little owl. I think they're like burrowing owls, ground owls, but uh, I thought it was cute, so decided to draw it. And then I had this funny idea of a kind of a Star Trek reference of set phasers to perturb. So I had to draw this guy out for it. I still think that's funny, but maybe it's just me. <laughs> And here's kind of a reference from one of my favorite books, James and the Giant Peach. This is when uh, the worm has to be the bait to get all the seagulls to come down so they can grab them and tie them up and float the, the peach away. This is a cute little girl I saw in McDonald's and I had to draw her. She had a uh, she was all decked out in pink. She had pink flip-flops, pink dress, pink framed glasses, and a pink, giant pink flower in her hat. I thought that was awesome, so thought it'd be, I thought I'd draw it up, and I thought it'd be fun to just keep it inked and just do the pink areas on it. And then this, if you look back on my website, you'll see this is actually inspired by a pattern I saw in a Target outdoor rug. It looked like this to me, so I drew it up. And then this is a woman I saw at the mall eating. And then this guy was also at the mall. He was manning kind of the like bungee cord bouncy thing. And he just seemed like a real funny looking guy. A little bit creepy, so I can see why not a lot of people were going over there to, to get bungee lessons or whatever. Here's just the little ninja guy. Not much to him, but he's fun. And then this is the start of some ideas of steampunk aliens. Uh, I've only drawn one, but I need to get around to drawing a whole bunch of them. I have a bunch of ideas in my head, but I just haven't sketched them out yet. And then this is kind of a mashup. It's a robotic humpback whale hermit crab creature. So I had a lot of fun with that one. And then this came from a random idea from a friend who said a pineapple spy. So it was kind of a James Bondish pineapple spy. Gotten a lot of good response on that guy. People seem to like him. And then this, I just had an idea of what if a snake didn't have fangs, it just had like buck teeth. So I drew it out and then just kind of went a little crazy with coloring it. Uh, I've been coloring most of these with markers, um, maybe some dashes of colored pencil or white ink. Um, I've been really enjoying working with markers. And then here's kind of a goblin, but in a kind of a classic early 1900s vintage cartoony style. I really like that guy. And then this is kind of like a tree ant or tree protector guy. He's here in the latest gossip from, from a little sparrow in the woods. I like the exaggeration on that one. I was trying to push it there. And then this is kind of a hopeful picture my wife and I struggle with infertility, so this is kind of K 
came to me as kind of a hopeful picture of what our family would look like. I'm not a fox, but I just thought it'd be cute to draw foxes. And here's a, just a fun minotaur. Hashtag nipples. And then this, I was just trying to use a couple highlighter shapes to make some dragons. I don't know if it really works well, but hey, you got to try some things. Not all of them work. Here's an idea of a peaceful place in my heart of what, where relaxation with God might come from. We've got some rhinos protecting this little sacred place. And then this is a mashup idea of a plant animal. And I chose to do an ostrich mixed with a Venus flytrap. And I think he's a real fun character. I should probably color this up at some point. And then this is just a random funny thought I had of an orange unicorn thing. <laughs> And uh, I thought it'd be fun to make the unicorn horn kind of like the old school um, straw that was on the Tropicana commercials or something like that. Have fun with that little guy. And this was kind of inspired after watching Trolls. I wanted to draw my own kind of troll, but try to make it not look too much like one from the movies. He's got his weird sardine sandwich thing there. I really enjoy the exaggeration on that. That's what I've been trying to push on this year is exaggeration and everything. And this is combining my and my wife's favorite animals. So my favorite animal is an octopus. Hers is an elephant. So I drew an elephant octopus. And then this was inspired by what my wife's eggs looked like when we were at Mimi's Cafes one day. This bow and head here was the shape of her eggs and it looked like an alien girl with a giant bow on her head. So that inspired her drawing and turned out like that and I really think it's fun. That was with a little colored pencil for the shading after I colored in markers. And here's an idea I had of a dwarf spider, spider dwarf guy. He's pretty fun. like to see that in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And then here's some more hiking sketches. This is kind of like a little path that I was hiking with a friend. Here's some people that I was sketching real quickly that were passing by. Didn't have more than a moment to cr capture them. There's this little girl that I thought was cute. She had this giant floppy hat and her glasses were missing one of the frame sides. But I never got around to drawing her. Here's just a steampunky weird robot with all this toxic fumes spewing from the top of him. Thought he was pretty fun. And then I love this guy. It's a little like Edison bulb uh, robot. You can see what I did with him as far as the background and coloring on my website. And then here's a, a, another idea I had of a hammerhead owl. And I call him Hammerhoos. I really like that, that creature. I want to do a little more with that. And here's just a funky looking dog that I saw when we were out um, at a lake nearby. I drew it up when I got home. It was just like a Sharpe pug, who knows what kind of thing. It was just a really weird looking dog, so I had to draw it. Here's one of my favorite kind of fantasy creatures, murlocs, little fish guys. So I drew my version of it kind of with stegosaurus fin kind of things on his back. And then here's just some like millennial duck, skateboard and duck. And then 
here's like a, a eagle bat battalure eagle kind of is the type of face that is but i made him into kind of a tiki tribal guy and then here's some ideas i had for doing a figurine character of my own i had this like robin hood dragon guy and then here's the scuba shark redesigned and a tiki redesigned from another drawing i did a long time ago and a rhino angel thing and then here's a boombox crab he brings the party with him wherever he goes. He's a fun guy with a mullet. I kind of try to color it 80s style. Really, people seem to really like this guy, so I think I need to do something else with him or draw him in a couple cool poses, make some stickers or something. And here's like a three-eyed, wise, alien creature guy I had a lot of fun with just going to town trying to do something zany. And here's kind of a, a kaiju kind of from the old cheesy movies where you could tell that it was a guy in a suit. Kind of tried to create my own kind of kaiju character guy attacking a city. I like how that turned out too. Here's an idea of just a girl with a unique pet. And I love turkey vultures. So I gave her a turkey vulture as a, as a pet. I tweaked her arm size on the computer afterwards. I think it was a little off. And then here's a pinata knight. And I ended up coloring this, and you can see that on my website as well. He's pretty fun. Then I love moray eels. So here's my take on a moray eel. Had a lot of fun with the coloring on that. Then here's just a cute which character i wanted to give i'd wanted to draw a character with a uh a spider uh jumping spider as a pet and i thought a witch would be a good character and then i did some extra coloring on the computer with this one so you can see that on my website as well and then here's kind of a, a deer with cactus antlers i had this idea for a long time but i didn't know exactly what to do with it and then I finally decided to just draw it out. A bunch of hummingbirds coming to drink nectar. And then I tried to give the deer a little bit of a roadrunner patterning on, on its fur or feathers. And here's me just playing with some new markers, chameleon markers that kind of fade. You can make the markers fade as you go. So it's just a funky little robot guy. And here's just a puffball tree creature that that uh, camouflages with other trees that look like him but he's he's not a tree he's a creature but he's hard to find because he lives among these trees and then i used the chameleon marker again kind of playing around with it for the first couple times there for the background here's just a funny guy i drew while waiting for a food order and He's got this small guitar. He's an alien that loves human instruments. And I ended up coloring them later on. And then here's a few cartoon bunnies that I did in kind of like a 2D animation style. Try to get really down to the shapes of them. I had fun with those. And to finish it out, just a little self-portrait of myself done in kind of a flat 2D animation, almost Steven Silver style. So that is it. I got this little sketchbook from uh, Hobby Lobby, real cheap. I really enjoyed working with it, and I'm working on another sketchbook now. So hopefully I'll have a video to you of that um, later on this year. Thanks for watching.